They say their rights were violated when Adnan Syed's murder conviction was dropped. And now the family of Heyman Lee is asking the state to do something about it. They appeared in the appellate court in Maryland in Annapolis today. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager shares what they argued before a trio of judges. Adnan Syed spent more than two decades behind bars for the murder of Heyman Lee, and now he's a free man. Our family, we've suffered so much, you know, just over the past 20, almost 24 years, and it's just it's really hard for us. But someone was missing from Syed's hearing on alleged missteps, which led to a judge vacating his conviction. Notification of the proceeding was emailed to the victim's brother, Young Lee, who lives in California on a Friday, just three days before the Monday hearing. Is it your position that notice a minute before is sufficient? When he couldn't travel across the country in time, his only remaining option was to view it on Zoom. Attorneys for Lee's brother argue there is far more at stake here than simply his right to be present on the day that Syed regained his freedom. There's also a memo from a prosecutor decades ago that some have construed as evidence there were other suspects the jury was never made aware of. It's not a mystery. It's not really rocket science. Uh, the court can hold an evidentiary hearing and entertain evidence, entertain witnesses, have someone cross-examine witnesses at an evidentiary hearing to get at the truth. A truth now in question that has left two families in limbo. We definitely understand that Hayes family has suffered so much and they continue to suffer and I just it's just that we suffer too and we just hope that the court today just takes notice of that that we're a family that suffers also. In Annapolis, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.